Hello, Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to Kane Self-Defense with Master Gary Hernandez. In this video, I'm going to change it just a little bit on the cane, and I'm going to go to its cousin. Because I had a couple people um, email me and IM me that they don't carry a cane, but they carry an umbrella. Can I use it like a cane for self-defense? Um, absolutely. It has its pros and cons. And let me explain what I mean. A good solid cane made out of wood that's really solid is going to last over several strikes and you're going to be able to do a lot of different things with it. Besides getting you around, it's going to be able to do self-defense and um, no matter what, you know, if you're hitting somebody in the head or hitting them in the arm or leg, it shouldn't break if you have a good solid hard cane. Now, an umbrella, not much difference in size some of the umbrellas than the cane. And I've done videos before on self-defense with an umbrella, but since someone that um, likes the cane wanted to ask me because what they were trying to tell me, or basically what they were telling me was, when it's raining outside, they don't carry their cane, they carry an umbrella. So, which a lot of people probably do. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and put the cane down and talk about its cousin. That's what I like to call it. Now, there are a lot of different umbrellas. There are short umbrellas, there are big umbrellas. I'm gonna talk about a full length umbrella. There are several different kinds. Well, actually there's tons of different kinds. You know, you have some that have a handle like this. You have some that have more of a curvage. And you have some that have a horn. Right now I have just three in front of me here that are full length umbrellas and they're pretty good sizes, and they all do the same function. They open up and keep you dry. What can I use for self-defense? They do make self-defense umbrellas. I actually have one. This is from a company over in Germany, and it's called the self-defense umbrella. It's called the Unbreakable Umbrella. And I've done a video where I have one of our students, Jason, who weighs, uh, at the time he weighed 125 pounds. He was standing right on the center of this didn't break and I opened it right up. I've hit bags with it, didn't break, and it opened right up. You know, this kind of, this you know comes with a shoulder um, strap and when you take it out, basically it is a full umbrella that you can use and you know, open it up, boom. Oh my God, he opened an umbrella in the building, bad luck. But, you know, it's a big umbrella. And can I use this for self-defense? Well, this one was made for that because it's what they call the uh, unbreakable umbrella. So you can hit somebody with it. But not, you know, and this is expensive, not cheap. These things are like $100. But this was sent to me for, for me to showcase in a video I did down um, in the past about this, about umbrella self-defense. But an average umbrella, and I don't even know what they really go for these days, different prices, you know, they can go for 15, 20, 30, whatever, I don't know. But the average umbrella, this was, um, actually this was a, a gift from my job. When I used to work for this one medical company. So they gave me this, you know, has their logo on it. But they're about the same size as the cane. Now, being said that they're not, except for maybe this one, an average umbrella doesn't have the strength to when you hit something with it, it's gonna mess up. It's gonna hurt somebody and you're gonna get some good strikes out of it. You're probably gonna damage your umbrella if you wanna open it up down the road. But when someone's trying to kill you or rob you or something, that's not on your mind. Getting wet while you're telling the police what you did to them, small price to pay for saving your life. But with an umbrella, let's say you have one that's not an unbreakable kind. Use the exact same you would with anything else, you know? Most of them have a nice sharp point or a nice rounded point for your bayonet strikes. You know, a lot of them still are strong enough for rifle strikes to the face. A lot of them have a nice little hard ending for hitting them, for long range hitting them. So you're gonna do exactly the same techniques with a full umbrella that you would with a cane. Only problem is, you're not going to get 
is many strikes is eventually it's going to fold it's going to bend on you but all you need really two to three good hits and get out of there no you're not going to open it up and twirl it and dazzle them to where they can't Ooh, they're going to not see behind you no they're going to just basically grab your umbrella and try to beat your butt with it but use it like you would remember what i said about blocking block and move so it's not that umbrella is not taking a full impact when you strike, stri when you're striking with a swing, strike with more the solid end, the harder end that's going to hurt. When you're jamming somebody, use more the pointy end that's going to hurt. So think about what kind of umbrella you're carrying. Now, if you're carrying a small one, then you're going to have to go into more of a screamer type fights with, or a dombong, small short stick fighting. And if you're not, which means you're going to be closer. So if you're not really good at that, I don't suggest that. Learn how to defend yourself first, then you can do that. But with a, a longer umbrella, for those of you that swap your cane out, you know, hey, it's not raining, so I'm going to take my cane out. Oh, it's going to rain all day. I'm going to leave my cane, and I'm going to take my umbrella with me. Just treat it the same. You're walking with it. You feel something's going on. All of a sudden, bam, bam, you can strike with it. You can strike with it. You're walking with it, somebody grabs onto you, you can still rifle strike with it. You can ban that strike with that end. You can use that end. So just use it exactly the same, but with an understanding that it does not have, when someone throws a swinging, big guy throws a hard swinging, and you block with a traditional umbrella, you know, he's, he's probably going to bend it a bit, depending on how weak that umbrella is, how cheap that umbrella is. He's not going to hit you, but he's going to bend it a bit. You're going to have to start fighting him real quick, unlike a solid cane, where that piece of wood's going to bite into his arm a bit, and he's going to feel that wood against his um, bone or muscle. It's going to hurt more. So that's the difference you're going to have. And you're going to ruin your umbrella. So unless you have one that's a, you know, self-defense umbrella. So think about that. Just use it exactly the same. That's all you got to do. I would suggest practice. The t Those of you that watch my videos, practice. And you have a full-size umbrella. When you practice some of the techniques in this, practice them with this. You're going to now... Is this going to swing a lot faster and more comfortable and a lot more fluid than this? Absolutely. Because this is going to give you a little bit of wind drag because it's, it's a little bit more cumbersome. That's a lot more aerodynamic. So um, minus the horn and some, if you do have an umbrella that has where the crook comes around into a horn, practice those techniques with that. Um, if you have an umbrella that has the gentleman style cane to it, kind of like this one here. Now this is an old umbrella. This is a weaker umbrella. Look at that. I can flex it a bit. This will only take one or two hits, but it's still going to let me do some hits hard with this. It's got a metal end. Bam. This is a solid brass end that's going to hurt somebody. Now this umbrella has a little something extra that um, I can't take in place and it has a knife. So now that takes this umbrella to where I can't take it on a plane. Can't carry it in some places. Because if they x-ray it, they're gonna see it. But <clears throat> this umbrella, I can take anywhere. This umbrella, I can take anywhere. So, Practice your techniques. Again, take your cane. Work your techniques left and right-handed. And then do the same thing with your umbrella. Chances are they're very similar in size. Look at that. Not about almost the same. Almost the same exact size. So you're going to be able to do the same thing. And that's what you want to do. So take your cane, take your umbrella, and work it. So when you do go out on a stormy day, guess what? Now you have the mindset, this is going to be used 
just like that. All right, so hopefully that helps. Definitely work it. Um, remember, to me, the umbrella is a cousin to the cane because I can close when it's when it's done raining. I just simply, you know, rain's coming. Boom, good to go. Rain's gone. All right, don't need it anymore. Rain's gone, so I simply close it up. And now I use it to walk around with or I can carry it. Makes a nice, good club. So definitely work them both. And you're going to be surprised how they both complement each other in the self-defense. So hopefully that helps for those that answered um, about, you know, how to use an umbrella. I do have other videos, not on the cane one, but on the regular Gary Hernandez martial art. Um, I do have videos, and I think on Facebook also, where I'm showing how to use a cane. I'm sorry, showing how to use the umbrella just like a cane. I was kind of using the techniques on somebody else and Bob with that, but definitely going to be able to use them both exactly the same. So give it a shot, see how it works out for you. If you have any other questions, please let me know. And I do appreciate the people asking the questions. Thank you. I'll try to get to you guys and answer them as quickly as I can. So Gary Hernandez and have a good day. Thanks.